in the beginning there was nothing at all so I got a video camera switched it on and uploaded some videos of my tree car collection welcome to the perfection selection a cream of cards TV let's debunk a few myths so how do we go about finding the oldest Charlie Chaplin tray card where there are no convenient movie card guides pointing the way? Well, we could just rely on what other people say. Like the eBay seller who tried to make out that these two Smiths Chaplin cards were what you call rookie cards. Of course, there are little warning signs that suggest otherwise. Many of the earliest movie star cards tend to prominently feature the names of the movie studios they were currently working for. Surprise, surprise, no movie studios are mentioned on the fronts of these two Smiths Chaplin cards. Also, perhaps because the movie or cinema star was a relatively new phenomenon at that time, Remember, Florence Lawrence is widely considered to be the earliest movie star because she is allegedly the first actor stroke actress to be promoted in her own right in 1910. So it's hardly surprising that the word star rarely appears on the backs of the earliest movie cards, unlike on these two supposedly rookie Chaplin cards. At least we should be able to trust the most widely used British card price guide though which says that the series that features those two Chaplin cards was issued in 1920 but even they admit that those dates are not always accurate like when they rewrote movie star history by saying that this leather series came out in 1908 and yet one of the movie actresses featured was born in the same year even though she is referred to as Baby Helen Badgley, I think it is safe to assume that she is considerably older than a newborn baby. Not to mention this Mary Pickford card that is said to have come out as early as 1913, and yet one of the films mentioned on the back was released several years later. Did she have a time machine, perhaps? Then we have these Chaplin cards, which are in fact printed on fabric and were issued by Themans. An eBay seller proudly announced that a card similar to the one on the right showing Chaplin how he is, or was, was Chaplin's first ever trade card. Now it does tick one huge box. The movie studio is mentioned on the front. And of course, he released his debut film with Keystone Films in 1914. But, unfortunately, this card series also features two other Chaplin cards that mention a movie studio that he worked for a year later in 1915, suggesting that this series came out in that year or after. But then we have this card, when they were obviously still trying to figure out what stage name to settle on. That we know came out around 1914, since there was an actual 1914 publication. That is perhaps the earliest film industry yearbook, which features an advert promoting that pioneering movie tray card series and the confectionery products that they came with cinema dainty except life's not quite as straightforward as that because there seems to have been two parallel card series both featuring the same movie stars but in a slightly different format and on the backs advertising two different confectionery products cinema dainties and moffat sweetmeats the charlie or Chaz chaplin card that i have is from the latter series so i'm sure you'd agree that it's highly likely that this is probably the first or definitely one of the first charlie chaplin trade cards thank you for watching my video and please feel free to leave a comment and feedback now that you see that video you might want to click on these other 
Cardboard Adventures.